Now check your air filter on your twin cam uh, Harley Softail, at least with this round air scoop style air cleaner. There's just one nut that holds the cover on there, or one bolt, and it takes a 5 16 Allen wrench. You should be able to put it on there and just spin this sucker off. Now on some of them, you can't see this screw and there's a little plastic cover right here. If you grab it by the front, you can uh, pop the little plastic cover right off and that'll give you access to the screw. From there, you can take your air filter cover off of it. Then you can check out your air filter. All right, so let's take a look at this air filter. It's dirty. According to the previous mechanic, uh, this was put in on May 10th, 2021 at 13,400 miles. Call it 13.5. Uh, the bike's sitting at about 26,000 miles now, or 20, nope, sorry. The bike's sitting at about 24,000 miles right now. So that's a little over 10,000 miles, 11,000 miles, call it. Um, it's about due for replacement. Plus, I know this thing just was up in the Badlands, uh, so it probably got exposed to a lot of dust and dirt. So it's definitely time to replace this. All right, to remove this air filter, this takes a T27 Torx bit. There's three screws on it. One there, one down there, which is a little bit of a challenge to get to with the socket. <clears throat> so we'll break this one free. And we'll get a normal Torx bit wrench. And we can spin all three screws right on out of here. And from there, you can just grab your air filter, pop it off of there. See this little rubber hose here? This comes off the back. You should just be able to pull it right on out of there. Uh, now, if it doesn't come off right there, sometimes they will come off the breather bolts right there, and that's okay. Just pop them back on if that happens. So, overall, this is in pretty good shape. We got some excess dirt on the outside of where the air filter is, and we'll wipe that clean. Then we'll get a new air filter and pop it on there. So I wiped all the crud on out of there. Now I have the new air filter right here. Compared to the old air filter, you can see the difference. So we're going to install the new air filter. So what I'm doing is sliding the bracket and the screws all down on here first. Apparently you gotta get the screws all started in at the same time. There we go. There we go. Now, if you're wondering, it actually says up on it. So, we're gonna take this little hose here and we're gonna push that back through the hose in the air filter. This is for the oil breather. So, this hose keeps getting kinked. So we're gonna take the whole hose off of here, like so, slide her down in there just like that. Now we know it's nice and straight. Now we can slide the air filter in place, start the two screws in, two of the three screws, push the breather hoses in place, Start the bottom one in and then go around and tighten them all up. Now with any multi-bolt pattern thing, you want to make sure you tighten them up evenly. Don't just run one in tight or it's likely to go crooked and bind up. Find your quarter inch drive ratchet. There it is. 
and then run these down until they're snug or just tighten them up. And we're going to have to tighten the bottom one up by hand just because we can't get a socket on it. And you can torque each one of these to spec. And like I said, that bottom one, we're just going to have to tighten it up about the same because we can't get a socket on there. But it's all right. Just tighten it up until it feels like it stops. Bike's got 24K on it, so we're going to... Twenty four K and what is it? Eight twenty four right now. So there you go. And from there, so you have a obviously don't lose your screw. And you have this rubber gasket on here. Uh, so you want to make sure that's good and in place. And uh, the inside of this thing's a little cruddy, so we're gonna wipe it out doesn't really matter technically because it's outside the air filter, but hey, it doesn't hurt to wipe the extra crud off your bike periodically. And put it up in place with the rubber gasket and thread the nut in there, or the screw in there. And just run that in until it stops and tighten it up and if you choose torque it to spec there you go you're ready to go ride